All right, so I am outside of Jacksonville, Mississippi, and I have found what I've been looking for in a little town called Clinton. It's an old abandoned racetrack, and here it is. I found it. Look at this. Sitting in the woods, rotting away since 1986. There's probably not much left, but I said, what the heck? How often do you get to walk around on an abandoned racetrack? It's a good bank too, pretty good incline, good angle. And the pit area is down here on the other side of that wall with those overgrown trees. So this place was called Jackson International Speedway. And it's not to be confused with Jackson Motor Speedway, which is still in operation. And this place opened one Saturday night in 1968 and had a very successful run throughout the 70s. And then it changed hands. It was sold in 1985. The name was changed to the Mississippi Motor Speedway. And uh, then it closed Within that year, 1986, it closed for good. And it's been here ever since. Now I think that the bleachers were all up here on top of this big wall. There was probably a very heavy duty fence. And then the bleachers sat up there. We're just, we're not too far off of uh, one of the major highways, but I feel like this place is, it's just forgotten because it's, it's in the woods. You don't really see it. There's not much here. The track is still here, but I'm going to see what else I can find. Oh, wow. Look, you can actually see some of these painted advertisements still here. Here's Napa. 12 locations to serve you. These other ones are, most of these are kind of hard to see. I mean, you could tell at some point this entire wall was covered in advertisements, local businesses, advertising their companies. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're coming, Michelin. Since 1986, these things have been here. Wow. So there's a lot of garbage out here. <laughs> this tire is absolutely huge. I highly doubt it was on any sort of a race car. I guess this was just dumped here. Michelin 29 by 5 35X Type R. This thing is like four feet tall. Look at this. Who knows what this was? It's obviously a dumping ground now, but I'm wondering if this was uh, at one time had rails across it and so, so people could work on their cars. They could go underneath it and, and work on it. Probably not. I'm going to have to go back and look at some pictures and maybe I'll be able to see, see that, see what that was. I guess this is turn number four. I read online that the banks are 11.5 degrees and the straightaways are 8.5 degrees. I tell you, the banks are in surprisingly decent condition for being so old, uh, but the straightaways are definitely broken up. Yeah, I don't know if these were always here to help uh, prevent the cars from flying off because there's really no wall over here, but I mean, you could see how long these have been here. That tree is it's a pretty good sized tree growing through that tire. There's a whole bunch of these gigantic tires. So I'm assuming these were here as a barricade. So this track is known for being the fastest track in the world because on July 11th, 1970, 
Bobby Harrell set the world record 16.79 or 16.78 seconds around the track. And from what I've read, that record stood for quite a while, many years. So, congratulations, Bobby. So as this straightaway starts here and it starts to flatten out, uh, there's a lot more growth. It really becomes harder and harder to see the track. And this is a full paved track. This was a, I believe a half mile oval paved track. So it's, uh, I would imagine that if it was not paved, uh, you wouldn't be able to see it anymore. I mean, there would just be, it would just be woods at this point. Full blown trees growing. So I'm on the other curve here and I'm just curious that I, I don't know what the heck stopped the cars from flying off in the event of an accident. There's nothing here. I guess that's why the tires we're on the other side, but there's nothing here. So I'd imagine that they would come up. I mean, maybe there was a fence or something, but certainly no concrete wall or anything like that. It just comes right up to the forest, right up into the woods here. I don't know, I guess that's how they did it. I'd imagine though, if you're going around this whole thing in 16 some odd seconds, you're going pretty fast. This had to have been where the bleachers were because this is the only area where there was any safety at all. Look, you can see this, um, I don't know if this is original, but this old metal wire mesh that may be original to fencing here. Anything that was worth anything as far as metals <laughs> Long gone. This is back to the main straightaway here. Front straight. So this is the racetrack. There's not much here, but a lot of history and a heck of a lot of memories for many, many people. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to watch this video and reminisce with uh, what once was. I'm getting back on the road. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.